Irish Pound up here, and uh, somebody said they were trend trade this thing, and they were a long-term trader, and I was just wondering um, if I could handle uh, their uh, long-term trading, and I, re I just realized, look at this chart, I, there's absolutely no way I could handle it. But I could, I could probably get in some of these things I could see definitely being interesting, like... Um, what I did here is I got the session um, indicator, and on the four-hour chart, the white um, trading the breakout of this white. Now here was the uh, trap trade, but the next session was small enough here, where this is. Uh, I set this to 20 pips, so this grid's 20 pips. It's quite a bit of pips actually in a very short period of time. Uh, so the black line is the uh, two period moving average symbol and the white line is the actual price. I just cannot imagine after this move here, because I asked this guy if he thought that this was a trap. Right here, um, as soon as they grab this price, we've already come back in, so... Maybe we're going to have to come to here, but he said he was a long-term trader, but I'm not sure I can handle having equity swings of that big. If I'd sold up here, I'd take something off here, I'd take something off here, and if I got down to here, I would just take, I mean, I'd pretty much be out of that thing. I think the dollar's doomed, and for whatever people say, go look at the euro right now. As it's going berserk, so uh, the dollar's had it. You see moves like this, forget about it. This, this is a trap. This has just revisited the doji from here. Now they're going to rip it up. It's just going to go all over the map. I just could never sit in a trend like that. I would feel like I was sent to jail look at this one hour situation though look at this breakout here that's the that's the money look at this here look at this 40 pip risk look at even less here that is four hours in the uh asian session first breakout north bam comes right to the top then down you can already plan the next session. This this trade's over. I would be selling it up there. But that's the thing. If you're short this thing, from back here, hell, when it gets down here and you see this thing, I'm out. Two big days like that, two big sessions like that, those blocks, forget about it. Here's some, uh, you get a top bottom on the session here. This swing low is the top of that this is you only have one zag in there before we plunge so this the, look at this perfect um these sessions bottom out just at the 20 and then when we come down wow you could have had bracketed it there breakout volatility breakout i hear they would have trapped you but if you got enough orders you're taking something out of that move. So if you only trade this session, you're only doing, you want to be in the, that one move. This is the drift up move. Well, that's the pound. Here's a, a hindsight look at the huge moves in the, uh, when everybody's trading session. I think I made it Asia, pre-Europe open, and then the explosion. There's a big retest trap. Then whammy. But look how big this move is. The end of the session there, the drift up, and it's complete engulfment. So here, you know what? It's over. I would start buying anything below this level I'm buying. So I would have bought this whole thing here and be... So we'll probably swung traded up into here. But I'm a reversal trader. Plus this fake breakout here where they trapped them and ripped. That's beautiful. 
Yeah, these sessions are serious. Look at this trap. Bam. Anyways.